Ito yung practice call na kailangan mong pagdaanan para makapasa doon sa hiring process and even the training process nila. Well, hello there again! You're probably here because of two main reasons. First, interesado kang mag-apply as a travel account agent in a call center. And second, you probably got tired already and yung account na i-handle mo ay malamang ay travel account. But either way, you don't have to worry because I'm here to help you ace your interview and training through this video. Once again, this is Jamie and samahan niyo ako until the end of this kung gusto niyong matuto or magkaroon ng idea about travel account mock-call. And by the way, if you are currently looking for a job or a new account, Medicom surely got your back because we have a lot of openings for agent level and even non-agent positions. In fact, we are urgently hiring customer service representatives for our travel account. So, if interested got to give it a try, just click the link in the description box below and fill out our online application form. Before we get into the video, let me give you an overview kung ano nga ba yung mga i-discuss natin as we move forward. And that includes yung mga usual concerns and types of calls na kinikater and nare-receive ng isang travel account agent. Kasama na rin sa pag-uusapan natin yung mga important things to consider and to know during calls and while talking to customers. And of course, last but not the least, pag-uusapan natin yung sample situation, call flow, and magbibigay kami ng mismong mock call. Kaya without further ado, let's get it started. Ngayon, Meta Pips, before we thoroughly discuss yung mga nabanggit ko kanina na pag-uusapan natin, eh, bigyan ko muna kayo ng very quick recap kung ano nga ba talaga ang isang travel account. Well, technically, this is a kind of campaign that is specifically designed to cater the needs of the customers or let's say clients under the travel industry. Now, if mag apply and ma-assign ka sa account na ito, you'll be undergoing series of interviews, assessments, including mock calls, wherein technically sa madaling sabi, ito yung practice call na kailangan mong pagdaanan para makapagdaanan pasa doon sa hiring process and even the training process nila. Well, the mock call is a kind of process na ginagawa to assess the agent's ability to handle customer interactions and different concerns. Now, since na pag-usapan na nga yung concerns na yan, let's talk about ano-ano nga ba yung mga usual types of calls and concerns na nare-receive and kailangang i-resolve ng mga travel account agents. Well, as a travel account agent, isa sa pinakaunang concerns na kailangan mo ma-encounter is yung flight and hotel or let's say accommodations, booking and rebooking. Kaakibat din dyan, Meta Pips, ay yung mga sudden flight changes and cancellations. Nako, kapag nagkaganyan, kailangan mong i-assist yung mga customers na probably ay magiging irate. Meron din namang about billing inquiries and mostly, ito yung tungkol sa mga payments and charges doon sa mga credit and debit cards sa mga customers or passengers. Hindi rin mawawala sa mga calls sa mare receive mo yung mga general inquiries about the services, products, and let's say packages being sold let's say ng airlines or ng travel agency mismo. Well, aside from those that were mentioned already, they also need to assist customers with special requests. Like for example, gustong maupo ng passenger sa window seat during flight. Or maybe the customer or passenger is requesting for a seat or puesto with more legroom. Yung mga ganyang kind ng concerns, kailangan ding i-resolve ng isang travel account agent yan. And last Last but not the least, a travel account agent needs to cater customers' complaints about the services and products in general. What about you, Meta Peeps? Especially yung mga may experience na dyan sa travel account. Ano pa yung mga usual concerns na na-encounter nyo during calls? Share nyo naman yan sa ating comment section below. Well, moving forward, let's now talk about the important things to consider during calls and what you need to know while talking to customers. Well, there are so many things na dapat mong tandaan and I take in mind to have a smooth and efficient transaction. And here are some points to consider. Well, una-una sa listahan is the customer information. Well, on the first part of your call, make sure to gather accurate and complete customer's information. Gaya ng full name nila, first name, middle name, and last name. Huwag mo rin kalimutang tanungin kung ano man yung contact information like their email address and contact number. And if they have any specific travel preferences. Number two is the travel dates and destinations. Destinations. In this part, kailangan alamin or itanong mo kung ano ba yung desired travel dates ng yung customer and kung anong locations or let's say lugar yung mga gusto nilang puntahan so you can assist them accordingly. Well, third on the list is the flight details. Kapag nagbubuk ka ng flight ng yung customer as a travel account agent, you need to verify the departure and arrival cities including the dates, times, and even yung mga layovers. Make sure na i-confirm mo yung airline name, flight numbers, and even class of service. 
Number four is accommodation preferences. Huwag na huwag mong kalimutang itanong yan sa iyong mga customers habang kausap mo sila while you are booking for them. Make sure to ask them if they prefer any hotel star ratings, kung anong type ng hotel or room ba yung gusto nila. If single man or let's say double bed yung capacity, even yung desired location. Say for example, gusto ba nila ng hotel na malapit sa mga landmarks or let's say accessible sa city or yung mga malapit sa transportation station. Next is travel itinerary. So make sure na magpo-provide ka sa customers or clients mo, including yung mga booking confirmations, flight details, hotel reservations, and even yung mga pre-booked activities or tours nila. Also, you have to take note of the travel alerts and safety. As a travel account agent, it is your duty to keep your customers informed about, let's say, travel advisories, safety concerns, or any health-related issues that may impact their trip. Isa sa pinaka-importanteng bagay na dapat mong i-consider ay ang payment information. So as a travel account agent, again, another responsibility mo to make sure na safe and confidential yung mga payment details ni customer or ni client when you are booking their flight. For example, kung ano man yung credit card details or numbers nila, you have to keep that confidential and make sure to follow the safety protocols and procedures to keep their account safe. Next is travel insurance. Make sure na magre-recommend or mag-offer ka sa mga customers or clients mo ng travel insurance like this and make sure to emphasize yung important Ito to protect their trip against any unforeseen events. You may also do upselling and cross-selling. So sa part na to, pwede kang mag-suggest or mag-offer again ng mga additional services para ma-enhance yung travel experience ng customers mo. Say for example, pwede kang mag-offer dyan ng airport transfers or let's say guided tours and even you may sell travel packages. Number 10 is cancellation and refund policies. Make sure na madidiscuss mo to ng mabuti sa yung customer or client to avoid misunderstandings they Later on. Another information that you have to remind your customers is about the visa and documentation. Make sure to advise customers on any visa requirements or let's say travel documents that they might need to provide and prepare for their chosen destinations. Number 12 is emergency contacts. Make sure to provide emergency contact numbers or let's say 24-7 hotlines na open para makontakt ng yung mga customers or clients if they really need it during their trip. Next is currency and local tips. Make sure to keep your customers informed about let's say the local currency, kung ano na ba exchange rate, and any cultural tips or any customs doon sa lugar na pupuntahan nila. Number 14 is do follow up and ask for feedback. After the booking process, is complete, consider sending follow-up emails or maybe pwede ka rin tumawag sa customers mo to ask if they need any assistance or they may need any clarifications to hold on sa transaction na ginawa nyo. You may also encourage your clients or customers to give feedback for a better customer service experience. Last but not the least is professionalism and courtesy. Of course, it's a must naman that you have to observe professionalism while you're still maintaining a friendly tone all throughout your interactions with the customer, ensuring a positive and memorable experience for them. If you want to know more about travel account and what a travel account agent does, we've uploaded a video for that na mapapanood nyo once you click this link. Ngayon naman, pumunta na tayo sa pinaka-interesting part ng video na to, which is the mock call. Kaya without further ado, let's take your first call. Hi, thank you for calling Medicom Travel and Tours. My name is Ali. How can I help you today? Hello there, Ali. What a great day, isn't it? I'm planning to have a trip to Europe, but I'll be needing your help and assistance in regards to booking flights and accommodations. Would you be able to help me? Yes, of course. I'd be delighted to assist you with your plan. So, may I know your full name and how can I reach you if needed? Yes, yeah, sure. My name is Jane Miller and you can contact me at 555-123-765. Alright, um, thank you, Jane. It's great to have you with us. And to get started, could you provide me with the specific details about your travel plans? Mm, I'm planning to have a long vacation in September mm -hmm. and I really wish to visit Paris, Rome, and Amsterdam. Wow, those places are amazing! So, shall we proceed to your flights? I know, right? Yes, please. I'm so excited about this. Alright, so could you please provide me with your departure city and preferred dates of travel? I'll be departing from New York City and I plan to leave on September mm -hmm. 5th and return on September 25th. Alright, got it. So, you'll be departing from New York and you're planning to leave on September 5th and your return date is on September 25th. Yeah, that's right. Alright, so let me check the available flights for you and please allow me to put you on hold for 3 to 5 minutes. Is that okay?
Hi there, Miss Jane. I'm back on the line and I have some great options for you. Well, upon checking, I saw that there's a direct flight from New York to Paris with a return from Amsterdam to New York on those dates. And alternatively, we can look into multi-city options to find the best route for you. A direct flight actually sounds good. I'm getting more excited about this trip. Can you tell me more about the airline and the cost? Absolutely. So um, the direct flight is with Air France. It's a reputable airline with good customer reviews and the current fare upon checking here on my end for a round trip ticket is $800 including the taxes and fees. Just keep in mind Miss Jane that prices may vary so it's best to book sooner to secure the rate. That sounds reasonable and it's good. Let's go ahead and book the flights please. Well perfect. Okay so I'll be needing some information to proceed to the process so uh, can you please provide me with the full names of all the passengers uh, their days of birth and any special preferences such as seat selection or meal preferences yeah sure it'll just be me i want to travel alone you know <laughs> my name is jane mm -hmm. miller born on june 15 1985. window seats are preferred and no specific meal preference but would like you to take note that i'm actually allergic to seafood and all right, so thank you so much again, Jane. Let me process the flight booking for you. And again, uh, allow me to put you on hold for a few moments, all right? And I actually need your help as well with mm -hmm. the accommodation. All right, not a problem, Miss Jane. Um, let's discuss your accommodation preferences, is that okay? Um, what type of hotel are you looking? Let's say, is there any specific amenities or locations you prefer? I prefer centrally located hotels with Mm -hmm. All right, got it. So yeah, for Paris, Rome, and Amsterdam, we have a variety of hotel options that fit your preferences. Let me check the availability for your travel dates, all right? So I'll be putting you on hold again. Just give me one moment. All right, uh, I'm back on the line once again, and I have several options for each city. I'll list them out with the prices and ratings, and you can choose the ones you like. Is that okay? That sounds good. Go ahead, please. All right, so uh, here on my end in Paris, we have Hotel Eiffel with a four-star rating for $180 per night. We also have Hotel Louvre with a five-star rating for $250 per night and Parisian Charm Apartments with a 4.5-star rating for $220 per night. I like the sound of Hotel Louvre. Let's book mm -hmm. that. All right, excellent choice. I'll reserve the room for you, all right? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. So uh, in Rome, we have Roma Relax Hotel with a four-star rating of $150 per night and Grand Colosseum Hotel with a 4.5-star rating for $180 per night. We also have, let's say, Boutique Roman Terrace with a five-star rating for $280 per night. And then going to Amsterdam, uh, we have Amsterdam Canal Suites with a 4 point five star rating for $190 per night. Hotel Amstel View with a four star rating for $170 per night. And last but not least is the luxury Prince and Grad Apartments with a five star rating for $300 per night. Let's go with Grand Coliseum Hotel in Rome and Amsterdam can also see in Amsterdam. All right, great choices. So I'll book those accommodations for you as well. Okay, just give me a moment. All right, Jane, we're almost done here, but before we proceed with the booking, um, I just want to confirm your email address, the full email address to send you the travel details and itinerary. My email address is jane.miller at email.com. All right, got it. Uh, thank you so much, Jane. Uh, I have all the necessary information to proceed with the arrangements. And don't worry, I'll finalize the flight and the hotel and we'll send you an email with the details shortly. If you have any more questions or you need any further assistance, just feel free to contact us anytime, okay? Thank you, Ali. I really appreciate your help. You're very much welcome, Jane. We're here to make your trip amazing. And I hope that you have a fantastic day ahead and I'll be in touch soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ali. Thank you. Well, that's it for today's video and I hope na marami ulit kayong natutunan and napulot na idea and how to handle calls about it. And now, if you're interested and ready to work in a travel account, then we have tons of opportunities here at Medicom.
Just fill out the online application form na nasa description box sa baba. And huwag mo na rin kalimutang i-like and share itong video na to. And make sure to subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Medicom Careers. Thanks for watching!